This is Claire McCree, the Assistant Curator at the Allentown Art Museum. And today we're going to be looking at work from the exhibition Flash, the Sensational Photography of Ouija the Famous. Let's start by looking at this work. You see bright faces against a dark background. The angle of this shot uses the windshield of the car to frame the face of the driver, a woman frozen in shock, not seeing what's around her. She clutches the steering wheel. This is a typical photographed and subject matter for Ouija. His work was photographing disaster and crime on the streets of New York in the 1930s and 40s. Ouija was a hugely successful freelance photographer who sold his work to the tabloids. He knew how to use intense flash to create dramatic contrasts that added to the power of his images and made them easily readable when they were cheaply printed in these mass-produced newspapers. He also knew how to focus on the human subjects of crimes and disasters, creating a clear and emotional and raw story that was compelling and helped to sell the papers. Ouija lived a largely nocturnal lifestyle. Through his connections, he was able to obtain a police radio, which he would listen to for breaking news. When he heard about a story, he would drive to the site to take photographs, then go to police headquarters to get the caption information. He would then develop and print his photographs and have them ready for sale by 6 a.m. in time for the morning news. Ouija created a persona around his photography that became an unusual part of his artistic practice. He sometimes resorted to disguises to get his shots and then created self-portraits around these scenarios, showing himself as an ice cream salesman or clown. The credit stamp for his studio proclaimed him to be Ouija the Famous. He relished the mystery and adventure around his chosen career and encouraged the story that his professional name, Ouija, was derived from his seemingly supernatural ability to show up first at the scene of a crime, akin to the fortune-telling powers of a Ouija board. One of his most important photographs shows distraught survivors at the scene of a tenement fire. And Ouija titled it, I Cried When I Took This Picture, making the photograph about him almost another self-portrait. The intensity and raw, powerful emotion in his work challenged boundaries between fine and popular art. This seemingly candid but actually staged photograph shows Ouija at MoMA where his work was on display, and he is perhaps the only photographer to have the unusual distinction of having his work simultaneously in mass market tabloids and hung in the galleries of a world-class art institution. 